Hey guys, today I'm going to be walking you through all the different tools that I use to create art, both traditionally and digitally. So, let's get going. I do quite a bit of both digital and traditional art, and I've had a few people ask me which I prefer, and I think that's a complicated question because I kind of go in phases of which one I'm more comfortable with. So for a month or so, I'll do a lot of digital art, and then I'll switch to doing lots of ink drawing in my sketchbook. And then when I switch back to the other one, whichever one I was doing last, it feels a little foreign, so I have to get used to it again. So I kind of waffle back and forth between the two, and I don't think there's necessarily one that I spend more time on. I definitely switch back and forth and do whatever feels right at the moment. Of course, I do have a lot of art supplies and tools that I'm not going to mention in this video. I'm just going to be going through the most common things that I use pretty much every time that I create art, or regularly at least. Starting off, on the traditional side of things, we have my sketchbook. This is a Strathmore Series 400 sketchbook with toned grey paper. The cover is not the greatest, it's kind of crappy foam stuff that kind of can get damaged easily, but it's overall I really am enjoying the sketchbook. I definitely recommend the sketchbook. I'm about three-fifths of the way through it and it's been a good experience overall. One thing about my sketchbooks, I do definitely prefer to have a smoother paper with almost no tooth, little to no tooth, because I do a lot of ink work and it, for ink I find smooth paper to be a lot better. It can't be like glossy smooth, but smooth enough that you're not feeling like you're grinding your nibs of your pens into dust when you draw along the paper. Moving on to another one of my most used art supplies, it is my mechanical pencil. This is a Pentel brand, it's like called Quick Click or something. I just picked it up one day. I've used it for quite a few months. It's got 0.7 millimeter lead, and I generally use HB because it's just what you find most readily available. Even though maybe it's not the best for drawing, that's what I use. I used to use a lot of traditional wooden pencils, and I still carry a couple in my pencil case, but generally I use this for my sketching, unless I'm doing something extremely light. I also use this to write a lot, so I use this pencil a lot. This is my pencil case you may have just seen. It is Paper Blanks brand, it's just this little box thing. It's not the, maybe the most efficient thing, but it can hold a few pens, and it holds my basics for me. Right now I'm using this Factus brand eraser, extra soft rubber, it's very bendy. Pretty good eraser. I, I also do really like the Stadler Mars plastic erasers, those are amazing. And I have one of those at my desk right now. I like to do a lot of work with ink pens, and right now I've got a set of um, Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. It's kind of like a jumbo set. It had like four fine liners of varying sizes and a couple of brushes. The brushes are wearing out now because on these like felt-tip brush pens, the nib is pretty much always going to wear out before you run out of ink, which is kind of unfortunate. So I, I, I really like them, they're fun to use, but they wear out really fast. But I do really like the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Fine Liners. I use those a bunch, and also this bullet nib one is really nice for noting or just drawing something quick. Kind of like a Sharpie, but it's better than a Sharpie in some ways. Of course, you got your average stuff like a, just a basic ruler. This is a cheap Bic pen. I've got some random smudging stick and a random sharpener. I like the Mar the Stadler Mars Lumograph pencils. If I ever get wooden pencils, that's what I generally buy. I don't know. Brand loyalty, I guess. I, I, it's a pencil. I honestly don't really mind that much, but it is good to get buy good pencils. I like 2H and 2B. Generally good options there. I have a few Sakura Pigma Micron pens, um, the 05 fine liners, and a few different colors. I had some black ones, but I broke both of them. One of them got really jammed with gunk. And the other one I dropped on the floor actually and the nib kind of like hit the floor and got jammed inside itself and I can't use that one anymore. So for black ink I have to go to my pit artist pens, but microns are good as well. But I, f I find that they are a little a little easier to mess up. They're, they're, they're well built, but they're a little easier for the nibs to get messed up than the pit artist pens. I recently got this set of Pigma brush pens in a few different colors. There's like black, green, brown, blue, red, purple. They're very nice. They're a very fine brush, they get a very fine line and nice for adding a little bit of color to some stuff that I normally just do in black and white. Now this has all been drawing stuff, but I do enjoy painting, even though I maybe don't do it quite as much. I like watercolors, partly because that's what I have done the most of. I have this kind of basic set of Reeves brand watercolor tubes, which does the trick. I also have some Stadler watercolor pencils, which are very, very fun to use. I haven't used those for a long time, but 
they're kind of nice to use. I also have some watercolor markers. They don't use that much, but they are kind of cool if I need to do some markering. There's some cheap acrylic tubes lying around the house that I've used before when I'm doing acrylic painting, but I would like to get into more acrylic painting and I'm hoping to maybe get myself some really nice new acrylic paints sometime soon. Moving on to the digital art sides of things, we start off with my laptop, which is the base model M1 MacBook Air. It's not the highest specs, obviously, but the M1 chip is pretty amazing and it does a great job doing everything I do. The display is amazing and the keyboard, really awesome. Just a good machine that can get me ev done everything that I need to do. To actually draw on my computer, I have a basic Wacom Intuos small size tablet. It's got the Bluetooth function and I often use the cable because sometimes Bluetooth isn't the most reliable. So yeah, just that's like a stylus pen tablet, no screen. On the software side of things, I'm using Clip Studio Paint Pro and that was actually a license that came with my tablet when I got it. It's the, really the only digital art software that I've ever used because I only got into digital art a year-ish ago. It's worked really well for me with a very well-developed set of features. That is about it as far as the things I use for art, both traditional and digital. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. And if you've got any ideas or suggestions, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one.